So this is it. Domestic football across the continent may all be done and dusted in the major leagues. But now we have the ultimate spectacle to conclude the season. The earliest phase in qualifying started way back at the beginning of last summer. And now there are just two teams standing. A show not just for the capacity crowd here, but one for the whole world. The global audience, they say, some 300 million. Wonderful scenes here in the Dutch capital inside this terrific arena. One that does more than justice to the stature of the man whose name it bears. So we're almost there. All one can see, a look of utter focus on the faces of all involved. You've been there, Jim Beglin. What will they be thinking as they wait for the whistle? Well, you're right, Peter. I have been in this position. And the message is usually something like, remember all the work, hard work you've put in to get this far. So don't leave anything out there now. Do what you're good at. It's better than what they can offer. Stick to that, and you hope it'll be enough. So, just who will seize their moment? As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Messi. Trevor and helps available out wide. Loose ball. Who's going to get there? I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. He's through the middle. Lukaku showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Hoists it forward. And play for a throw. Ericsson. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And TT. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, except he's had a shot. Goal, Barcelona! That could turn out to be a big, big goal. What about that, Jim Beglin? Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly for Moran City. Barcelona take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it, rather than even thinking about losing it. Messi. And here's Griezmann. 
Luis Suarez. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Martinez really was well marshaled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. And here's Griezmann. Suarez has a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Umtiti. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. And here's Suarez. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And it's Vidal. Luis Suarez. And the shot! Really well taken goal. And already they're looking to run away with it. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Barcelona take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Now it's Griezmann looking to break out here. Vidal. Rosovic battles to win it back. Titi, he's got away. Could move up a gear here. Just the and Martinez. Yes. That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Inter Milan get themselves back into contention. I think they can sense a comeback here and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. Martinez. Oh, good interception. Vidal drives it forward. Grosovic. Forward it goes. Plays it out to the wing. And it's Messi. He's played him through. Luis Suarez! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Across the field it goes. Martinez. D'Ambrosio. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them.
Adrian, the halfway point of the final. What are you thinking? Barcelona have the lead, and obviously it's going to be the happier dressing room at half time, but it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half time. Barcelona leading by one in a finely poised game. It is intriguing to watch. It can easily go either way. Already up and running for the second half. He's pinged one through here. Has a pop! It's there! The second half off to a spectacular start. Lukaku with a predatory goal. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. This has become one superb game of football. Well, this is just fantastic, Peter. I think we all got the final we wanted. Um, we can all now enjoy it for what it is. This is just a great game of football. Brozovic gets into the right position to intercept. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Wasn't easy. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Well, no doubt. So and Trevor, there's a definite fell there. There could be trouble here. And so now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. They've been caught out here. Looks to thread it through. And it's Vidal. And it's played forward. Luis Suarez. Vidal. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Luis Suarez. Tries a shot. Goal! Barcelona! Into the lead once more. Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run and he had that defence in, in utter confusion. He snaffles his third and that earns him the match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, from such a showpiece final as well, I think this is exactly the type of excitement that all the neutrals would have wanted on show. There's so many twists and turns in the... Oh, shooting chance! A great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Cleared away. That's what has to be done now. No question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Spot. Oh, that is asking for trouble. The fry gets into a dangerous position. Nelson Semedo. And here's Griezmann. Now it's Messi. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. Good 
smaller possession this, but very little to show for it. Hoists it forward, timely intervention. Done very well to intervene. The Frey needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And the weighted pass. Suarez finds himself offside. Barcelona are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Handanovic gets it upfield. Inter are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Well, it seems as though someone has been forced to pull up lane here. Yeah, and you know, I think it appears to have been bothering him for a while. But he is going to soldier on by the looks of it. Inter are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. Wolf. Barcelona are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. It's got through to him. That's good defending, very good defending. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? PK tries to get it forward quickly. Semedo plotting from out on the right-hand side. Griezmann. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. Barcelona certainly don't need that. Really isn't good. And his number looks to be pretty much up. Yeah, I think he's going to have to come off here. So he takes his leave. He had little choice. There's some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag. And he was never going to last until the final whistle. Back to the keeper and try something new. From Titi. It's official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Oh, real danger here. Face and the finish. Arthur drives it forward. And that's that. Barcelona have done it. It is party time as they gather to get their hands on the trophy. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who as a team blended into champions and this is their moment.